talk about the TSA, these new rules, because it, it's got everybody talking. So apparently oh. now they're going to allow knives, golf clubs, lacrosse sticks, hockey yeah. sticks on flights. And, um, and I, but things like, you know, obviously like box cutters, things like that wouldn't well, be allowed. what's the difference? Okay, so here's, here's the question that our producer Stuart and I were, were, we were talking about this, and I think that the, the idea is a pocket knife, men especially will carry a pocket knife just like they carry their wallet, mm -hmm. a lot of them. Um, and uh, and I think, that, but the idea of carrying a box cutter, what the heck do you need a box See, cutter See, and for? I wonder no. if you carry that in your were, pocket. like, really affected by not carrying a pocket. Like, I would like to do a survey with men who used to carry pocket knives, and then they couldn't, and be like, did your life, did, were, was it hard to travel without a pocket knife? Because I don't understand the need for it. Like, well, what are you going to do with a pocket knife during the daytime? A well, pocket for, knife is a weapon. It is it's a weapon. A weapon. Let me, well, first of all, we have one. Jeff Brady, who's in the studio. Jeff, where are you? Um, Jeff let me borrow his pocket knife, and I said, first of all, this is very dangerous. Yeah. And when I read this report, I actually was, I was pretty upset about it because we are putting our flight attendants, That's right. our passengers, at danger. Yes. And so I don't get why we need to do this. And I, the other day we were talking about the cuts that are going to happen, and I told you all, airport security was going to be cut with a lot of the budget cuts that are happening, you know, that's going to, they say it's going to happen slowly, it's going to progress forward. But this is one of the first things that we're seeing because I think the lines are being, are going to be held up. They said that these are one of the things that takes so long to, to pull and to confiscate. That Look, so many people carry them. And people get angry too because they're expensive. Some, yeah. some pocket knives. No, but you know really what else expensive. is expensive is all those hair products I have to throw away. If you're going to let a guy, Girl, that you're going to let a guy take a pocket knife, you better let me take my dry shampoo they, and my hair and my lip gloss. When we came back from Paris, we had wine with us, and we, if you, we, if we had taken a direct flight internationally from Paris back to the States, we would have been fine, but we had to route through Chicago. They took all the wine away and everything, and I thought, well, what the heck am I going to do with a bottle of wine but drink it and have a great time? I'm not going <laughs> to beat someone over the head with it. No, but I don't understand you know? that. Why would they let you bring a pocket because knife but not can... let you bring, but not let you bring a lip gloss that, what am I going to do well, with a lip liquid, gloss? Like yeah, I said, today. they are. Like, or hairspray. Well, what I, and this is the report. They're just saying that it takes so much time. And with the cuts, they're going to be taking. Who are you saying they said? The Who TSA. Is they? The TSA. They okay. put out a report yesterday. They did. And, and I heard that the lines were not all that long. Well, they will be. TSA. Well, you know, of course they will. And yes. that's the White House's job to cut whatever they want to cut. Right. And they are cutting airport security. So they're trying to make sure the lines are not out of control. But and I'm telling you, I'm pretty upset because they're putting lives in jeopardy. Well, so they're notifying terrorists, too, now that they can get on the air airplane with, with, a, with, with a pocket this. nine. Did we forget 9-11 and what it took? to bring down those airplanes? Did we forget that? So yeah. are we, was this April Fool or do people not understand the magnitude of being able to carry a weapon now well, on an airplane? And the flight attendants coalition or flight attendants union coalition, they're saying it was a, a bad decision. They're it very was a hasty well, decision. Well, whose decision they're, was this? They're upset about this. This was um, the, the, the TSA, yeah. the head yeah, of the but TSA. Who, uh, the, the TSA made the decision. And, he, and that had to have approval too from the, the administration. He, he, he can't do that without approval from the administration. Yeah, John I rest my point. Pistole, is that how you say his last name? Spray. Pistole, Pistole, the head of the, the TSA made the decision. So.